according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 9, verses 14 and 15. Then the disciples of John approached him and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel today, Jesus is revealing to us the true meaning of fasting. The disciples should not fast for the reason the Pharisees fasted. The Pharisees fasted to improve their social status. The Pharisees wanted to be known as men of God. The more they were known as God's men, they would be more respected by the people. And the more they could exploit the people in the name of religion. And Jesus said, that's not the type of fast that I want. And Jesus gives a beautiful definition of the religion he came to teach us. The kingdom of God, often, Jesus said, is like a wedding feast. The friends of the bridegroom will rejoice when the bridegroom was with them. And Jesus is the bridegroom of our soul. And this teaching Jesus gave often to the people. Jesus is the bridegroom. He came as a messenger from God. The Son of God became man in order to take us to divine status, to unite us with the Father in the Holy Spirit. And therefore, when the bridegroom is present, there shall be great rejoicing. And in the moments of rejoicing, we do not fast. But fasting will have a reason. And the reason is the bridegroom being taken away. When he said, the bridegroom is taken away. The bridegroom is taken away in the unfortunate moments of sin. When we commit sin, the bridegroom will be taken away. That means we do not feel the presence of Jesus with us. In the moments of sin, God is absent from us. When God is absent from us, we need to mourn, we need to fast because by fasting we will control the evil passions of our soul. As long as we are in the world, we are affected by the powers of evil. But these evil powers hold us captive. We must fast in order to be united with the bridegroom in order that the powers of evil may be cast out of us. And that is the genuine reason for fasting. Curtail our passions. Control our evil desires. That I may always be united with the bridegroom. The moment I experience the joy of the bridegroom united with me, Jesus one with me, not be fasting, rather I shall be rejoicing. Jesus said, you abide in me. I will abide in you. John chapter 15, verses 1 onwards, I am the vine, you are the branches. 
when you abide in me i abide in you you will produce much fruit and then jesus said i said these things that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete that's what jesus came for to complete the joy of our heart being united with the lord as a branch to the vine i must always be united with the lord when i realize i'm not united with the lord when i realize i'm cut off from the lord i must be fasting i must be fasting in order that i may remove from my heart whatever is against my lord and that fasting will bring me to rejoicing the ultimate purpose of the coming of jesus is that we may rejoice we may make a life on this earth a joy the joy of the holy spirit filling our hearts that's why st paul tells us philippians chapter 4 verse 4 rejoice and again i say rejoice rejoice in your union with the lord when i am united with the lord i will be able to rejoice and spread the joy to everyone around i must become an ambassador of the joy of the lord like mother mary became after she was anointed with the holy spirit she became an ambassador of the joy of the lord she went to elizabeth and in the presence of mother mary elizabeth began to rejoice and the baby in the womb of elizabeth began to leap for joy the world is waiting waiting to rejoice the one problem everybody has is they do not know how to be happy they do not know how to rejoice genuine joy is absent from the world today and you and i shall be the ambassadors to tell everyone where is real joy joy is in being united with the lord the bridegroom of my soul to be so one with him i am always able to do his will i am able to live in his presence i will be able to feel the power of his love and joy in my heart let us try to experience the fasting during this time of the lent the real meaning of fasting amen